Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. In today's video, I am transporting you to a magical place. Suzanne unboxing Try On Land, where I have taken you several times already. Suzanne is a bit of a weakness for me, guys. If I am left to my own devices and I'm on a frolic on the website, then I always end up adding a few things to my cart. And if I'm honest, I find Suzanne pricing to be a little bit on the pricey side. I don't think that they're a high-end brand. I don't even consider them to be a contemporary label. I think Think that they're more sort of on the upper high street end of the scale so their prices are quite hefty for a lot of the pieces that they have but when you prioritize a lot of their wool items or silk then i do think that you are getting good value for money as good as possible anyway as a shopper i find a lot of these try on videos to be quite helpful and i enjoy putting them together and sharing with you my thoughts on things that i've ordered now thankfully suzanne have a pretty friendly returns policy and they've got a pretty good shipping policy as well provided you spend over a particular threshold and so if you're based in australia like me and you spend over 200 australian dollars then you get free shipping and you can also get free returns which is what encourages me to place orders from them repeatedly. It's Suzanne and Arquette. They're the two weaknesses of mine with no physical stores in Australia. I always find myself just on the website, just having a bit of a browse, having a bit of a snoop, adding things to cart and checking out. I have my box here and I haven't opened it yet. I placed this order a couple of weeks ago. It arrived last week and I'm only now able to sit down and actually share with you what's inside. And so this is an actual live reaction, first impression, try on type video. It's all of those things, all of those YouTube buzzwords just in the one video. Exciting. So let's do it. Let's, let's rip this thing open. Okay. Everything is wrapped. I ordered five pieces and so in my usual fashion I will talk you through what I ordered, insert a picture of the model wearing it and then share a picture of me, a mere model, trying on the item so that you get a comparison as to what it looks like on a real person. Anyway, first item is this racerback tank top. I have this in this kind of sagey green colour in the size extra small. I'm on a bit of a racerback tank kick at the moment. I have several in my collection. I think that they're really flattering. I really like how they sort of taper in at the shoulder. I like the cut. Yeah, I haven't ever tried one of their racerback tank styles before. This will be my very first. It's in a really soft ribbed fabric. Not as stretchy as some of the other ones that I have in my collection. I have a fair few from Anine Bing now, but still just really lovely and lightweight. So yeah, let's give this one a go and let's see whether it works. Okay guys, so this is the top on. This is the Marcelo Racerback top that I have in Sage. And you know what, first impressions, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think that it's a really nice cut. I think that the neckline is almost a cross between a halter neck top and a racer tank. And I think that the style is quite modern and very current. I think in comparison to the other racer tank tops that I've got, this one isn't as slim fitting. My Anine Bing tops are very, very fitted. They're made of like a ribbed fabric, whereas this sort of provides a bit of a ribbed texture, but it doesn't actually cinch in. And so it is more comfortable to wear because of that. But at the same time, as you can see here, it doesn't sit as nicely as my other racer tank tops that sit a lot smoother and sit flush because they're quite fitted. I think that a racer tank top is probably better in a fitted cut, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. I've tucked it in because I think when worn untucked, it just looks a little bit, I'll show you. It doesn't look as good with these jeans, I think. I think that it looks better once it is tucked in. But yeah, I mean, it's a style that can be tucked in to any high-rise jeans or high-rise skirts and things like that. The color is really lovely. This one comes in a heap of different colors. I also got my size right as well. The size extra small is definitely a size that I would stick with. If you're a size eight like me, then an extra small is definitely one that you should try as well. It feels really nice. The neckline's really lovely. I'm not so sure on this sort of puckering action here. The tank retails for 55 US dollars, I believe, or 70 Australian. And so I will have a bit of a harder think about that and whether or not it's worthwhile keeping. But I mean, yeah, very nice style, as you can see. It goes very well with what I'm wearing. What do you guys think? 
The next item that I have to share with you is one that sparked the order in the first place. This is the Betty cardigan, which you might recognize from one of my previous Suzanne unboxings when I initially ordered this in a terracotta y, camel -y type shade. I found that shade to be a little bit too warm for my liking, but I liked the size and I liked the style. And so I returned that one, but I have repurchased it in this new season colorway, which is their navy and ecru stripe. And I have a thing for stripes. I have a thing for Suzanne stripes. So I've got a few striped things from them. I really liked how this looked on the model and I am pretty impressed with how it looks now that I've got it in real life and I'm touching it and rubbing it up in the flesh. The only thing that I'm a little bit apprehensive about are the buttons. I think that they are quite loud and shiny. I would have probably preferred a tortoiseshell button instead. They're quite weighty as well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this one a go. I think the Betty style is great if you're petite like me. So yeah, let's try this on and let's see if it works. Okay, this is the Betty cardigan on that I've just styled as a top. And wow, I love this. I love it in this color so much more than I did in the terracotta color that I originally tried. And I was going to get this one in the navy. A lot of you recommended that I get it in the navy, but I'm so glad that I waited a little bit and ended up getting this colorway because this is so totally my cup of tea. I love that it's a boxy cropped style, which works really well and works well proportionately on me, as you can see but it is so stylish and it's so cute. And I can see myself wearing this, you know, just like this off duty, but also for work, like with a pencil skirt or with a pair of crop trousers and things like that. It is so lovely and soft. These pockets are also functional. I don't know what I would use them for if I would use them, but you know, that's always good to know. And the buttons, you know, they're not as loud as I thought that they would be. They're not garish. They're not like that brassy yellow gold color. They're a little bit more of a champagne gold, which makes them much more acceptable for me. <laughs> but yes, I've just unbuttoned the top two buttons here, just like a shirt, and I really like how it is. I can see myself styling this as a jacket as well. Yeah, I'd recommend that you guys get this one, snap this up. I have a feeling this is one that would sell out really, really quickly. Okay, next up, I have a cardigan a little bit of gear on it. I don't know whether that's coming up. Bit of, I don't know, bit of fluff. Anyway, this is the Bethany cardigan, which is characterized by its very cute Nana style collar. I actually tried on one of their shirts with this similar style collar, probably a little bit louder than this one and probably a bit more bold. And I thought that it looked hideous on me. <laughs> but I just wanted to give this one a go just because I'm really attracted to the vintage style element of the collar. It's just in a black and white colorway and the buttons I think are very, very cute. It seems like it's the similar cropped style as the Betty cardigan that I've just tried. So yeah, I mean, I have no idea whether this will work. I think it's just gonna be one of those items that I will either love or hate. So yeah, let's give this one a go. And I also bought this one in a size extra small as well. Here she is on. I think coming off the back of the striped cardigan, this one is a very different vibe, very vintage vibe. I actually don't mind the collar and the crochet style ribbing. I actually think it kind of works. I can't quite work out whether or not I prefer it buttoned up or just sort of unbuttoned here at the top, left open like that. Between the two cardigans, I prefer the striped one. I still think that this one is a nice style, but yeah, I'm on the fence about this one. I think perhaps it doesn't work as well styled with jeans, but then if you can't style something with jeans, then what can you style it with? Hmm. Anyway, this one I'm going to have a bit of a think about, but I am pleasantly surprised that the collar works, in my opinion anyway, in comparison to the shirt fiasco. That was just, that's just a bit weird. This one, not so much. This one is rather chic. Would I get much wear out of it, is the question. Just a note as well about each of the cardigans that I've tried, both the Betty cardigan and the Bettany cardigan. It's a bit of a Betty, Bettany mouthful. 
Both of these cardigans are made from 100% merino wool and the wool is quite tightly woven and so it's like a very compact knit. I found this type of weave to be quite hard wearing and quite durable and I think it's in these pieces where the Cezanne price tag is actually worth your while because the quality of the item and the fabric is definitely just clear from when you're touching it and holding it. Okay, two more items to go. I have, ah yes. Their signature wool jacket, which I have been meaning to try for a very long time. Now in this piece here, in the many months that I've stalked it, I can't quite work out whether it's a jacket, it's a shirt, or it's a shacket. And now that I've met it in person, I do think it is a lightweight jacket, but yes, it definitely has shacket vibes. It's made of cotton, and this jacket is offered in so many different colors, and it also comes with a shearling collar variation, which I really, really like. But I wanted to give their wool jacket proper a go first to see whether or not the style would work on me. Now this style is more of a long line style as well. It's not cropped like the cardigans that I've tried, and so I'm a little bit apprehensive as to whether or not it would suit me because I'm only 5'2". I ordered myself an extra small and it's got these big pockets here as well. The quality is evident. It's got these really cute tortoisey shell kind of buttons. And yeah, just a very simple cut, but one of their most popular styles. It actually says here that it's part of their denim collection, but this isn't the denim that you would usually find that your jeans would be made of, or even a traditional denim jacket in that sense. Yeah, excited to meet you, but let's see whether or not you will work. So this is the shirt jacket shacket situation which I've concluded is a lightweight jacket although I have folded up the sleeves like I would normally do with a shirt because the fabric is light enough for me to do so. I prefer how it looks like this rather than when the sleeves are just left as is. I think that this is much more of a stylish look and it works as well considering you would only really reach for this jacket if it was transitional weather and you could get away with wearing it like this. I guess you could also wear it as a layering piece, but I'd probably rely on my knitwear more so for that. But yeah, I really love the colour and I actually think that the pockets aren't so bad. I thought that they might be a little bit too big, make too much of a statement, but they actually seem to work quite well. In terms of the length, I also think that it works quite well on my petite frame, particularly when you roll the sleeves up like this, it just sort of balances out the proportions slightly. But yeah, I I think that this is I think that this is quite good, quite a nice style. I can understand why it's so popular and why it's released in so many different colours. I think that it works better in a darker neutral tone like this. Like I've seen it in sort of pastely lighter colours. I don't think that that would work on me. But I also wouldn't know how to quite style that one as well. Whereas this, it's clearly a jacket. It looks like a jacket and works quite well. And the last item that I have to try on for you is this skirt here. It's the Betty skirt, which I have previously bought in navy, and I bought that one in a size French 38, which is the equivalent of an Australian size 10. I've bought this denim version in an Australian size 8 now, so the French 36. I've sized back down because I figured that the denim would potentially stretch, but also I have trimmed up a little bit, and so I just wanted to make sure that I got something that would fit me a little bit better. The navy one still fits me quite well though, but I figured the denim would have a little bit more stretch to it. And it is just a button down mini skirt, but the length of it, because I'm petite, is quite a nice length, it's not too short. It's a conservative mini length, which is what I've described previously. And I only have one other mini skirt in my collection, that's the navy version. I really love this style and so I am really excited to see whether this will work. I have a feeling it will. I mean, the navy one has been such a great addition, but you never know, they might have ruined the cut completely. So yeah, let's give this one a go and let's hope that it goes as predictably as I think it will. Sizing down on this skirt was definitely the right move because I think that this size 8 equivalent fits me really well. The length is also not too short either, sort of like a high rise mini skirt that doesn't come up too high. Well, it's a really lovely classic vintage denim wash. Yeah, I can see myself relying on this quite a bit as the weather continues to be quite warm here in Sydney. It also works really well with this combination, if I say so myself. That is really, really quite cute. What do you guys think? 
Okay, so that's it guys. Those are the five items that I bought. Let me know whether you agree with my assessments of the items and whether you think I should return or keep any of the pieces that I bought. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will also link my other Cezanne unboxing try-ons for you down below because a lot of their pieces end up getting re-released over the seasons. I really like how Cezanne have like their signature items that they just constantly release. It's not so trend based, which I also really like about the label. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!